Well, this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire again. And what I want to do in this video is show you how to break camp down. And again, very quick, very easily. Remember these uh, fast knots that we tied in here? All we have to do is pull those knots and they come right out. So I'm going to go around, I'm going to pull each of those, take that tarp down. And, uh... All right. So we've got our tarp undone. All that I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my tarp back around so that its back is an A-frame. This way I don't really have to get the tarp down into the ground. And I'm going to grab the grommets, pull my tarp off, and I can go ahead and fold that using the other grommet, shake it out, Fold it up again, roll it, and we're into our stuff sack with it. I know that there's fancy ways to tie these cords on here, but because they're so short, I don't really do that. I just wrap them around. Now you'll notice that I hung my bag here. Let me take a minute to share with you all something that's kind of important, at least to me. When you have your equipment out in the bush, you can't afford to lose that equipment. So you're going to want to keep it safe the way that I did here, by hanging either from a line, hanging from a tree, your pack, your gear, either keep it in your hand, your pocket, or in your pack. Otherwise, you're going to lose it. So there we go. That fast we've got that tarp down. Well, how about the line? Just come over here, and that fast, we've got that line off. As we go across to the other side, we'll go ahead and wrap that line so that it stays in good condition. And remember here, we had that half hitch that we put in there. Once we take that half hitch out, we just pull that line and this cord is off the tree as well. Folks, that's about as fast as you can break down camp. I don't know how you can get much faster than that. About three minutes, four minutes, and our camp is broke down. Let me go ahead and tie the rest of this line up. That tangle here in the, in the ivy. I use a little bit longer cord than I probably need to. You know, I don't believe in cutting cords, so I carry 25 and 50 foot hanks out with me. In order to do everything I want to, then I just use them as I need them. If I had to cut, I could, but I'd really rather not cut if I don't have to. So we'll finish wrapping this up, and then we'll be right back with you. All right, so I've got this cordage wrapped up. Again, right back into my bag. That way I don't lose it. Don't have any problems with it. very easy to take care of everything. The hammock, the same way. What I want to do is I want to keep this off the ground. So this hammock is a Trek light. comes with its own stuff sack. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it off of half the, uh, off of one tree, stuff it into the sack. As I walk across, I'll stuff the other end into the sack, pull it off the tree, and we'll be done. This is lightweight camping at its best, guys. Quick, easy, down and dirty. Just stuff that right into the sack. And by the way, they recommend that you do this. You don't fold this up. You stuff it into the stuff sack. It keeps a little better and doesn't get any cracks or anything in it, even though it's a nylon hammock. Pull this end off the tree. Into the sack it goes. Tighten up the draw cord. I always leave these little cords hanging out so they don't by chance rip my hammock. But there you go. Got that in there, into the kit. The last things are the cords here on the trees. You can see why I like this system. 
come off very quick. These, I just wrap around my hand. No fancy way to do this. Wrap one that way. Take the other, and I'll wrap that one around the other way. I leave a little tag out here. Slide that through the tag and into the kit. That's it. All right, for the last thing, let's make sure our fire's out, put our pocket cooker back away from innovative gear. What I've done here is I've dumped all my coals out, and I already, so that we didn't have any problem in the woods here, put some water on, but I'll put some more on to show you. What I've done, I dug a little hole, put my coals into it, then I can just stir that with a stick. Okay, and you really want to make sure that all of your coals are out. There's nothing hot left. Cold to the touch, so we're in pretty good shape there. I'll just pour a little more water on to make sure. Not any, any problem here. And one of the things that we practice is uh, no impact or low impact camping. So uh, what I'm going to do, before I fold this pocket cooker up even, is I'm gonna take, put my leaves back over here, spread it around, and there we go. Folks, I haven't even been here. Throw my sticks right. out. Fold the pocket cooker up is pretty quick and easy too. You simply fold your grates up, fold one end in, fold the other end in. Oh, might have folded the wrong end in. There we go. It goes into its own little carry case so you don't have garbage all over your kit. And I tend to uh, take the box. It costs me about an extra half an ounce or ounce. But you know what? If I've got some quick fire starter, need some quick fire starter. I've got it in here, so I'll just slide this in. And once I get that in, of course it goes into the pack. Close the pack up. And that's it, folks. We're ready to go. It doesn't take a lot of time to set up camp. It doesn't take a lot of time to knock camp down. But it's an important skill to go out and practice so that you can do it efficiently and quickly in the bush. If I did have a thunderstorm coming in on me, I could set my tarp up first, and I'd know that I was in the dry in about a minute and a half to two minutes. That's what you want to be able to get to, folks, so you can do it quickly and easily and efficiently. Don't forget, when you're out there, leave no trace. You don't want to be seen in the bush. You want to go out there, have a good time. Nobody knows that you were out there while you're there. This is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Pleased to be with you for this video. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.